Do you this like the round a, cube or the square cube if you have your choice? Uh, it depends. Like, so it depends on the size. <laughs> that sounds so suspect. <laughs> Virginia is for grubbers. Today we are in Ashburn, Virginia. Surprise. Uh, and we are at the Ashburn Pub. And my special guest today is... Kevin Bednar's owner-operator, Ashburn and Percival Pubs. That's it. I've known Kev for, I think, three years now. At least. Feels like 10. Yeah, we're doing an Old Fashioned Friday. So you know how it works. You did, you did a couple of these with us before. Yes. So. I'm probably the most frequent guest on OFF. That is a fact, and you probably have drinking more bourbon than anybody. So I know. <laughs> I'm like Justin Timberlake, a six-time SNL host. Definitely is. Definitely more than me. Uh, so you, you, your palate is a little bit more experienced than mine. But, um, you know, we first thing we do is off of appearance. Yep. So obviously, you know, this is your establishment. Right. Your opinion might be biased about your, your appearance. I'm going to give you my honest one. What do you think in zero through three on appearance? I'm going to be brutally honest. I hate Shit. these glasses for old fashioned. <laughs> That's honest. But when there's as much drinking and busyness at the Ashburn Pub, you can stack these. They're sturdy. They hardly break. They're tempered Libby glasses. In the fancier places, they have a thinner rim and they're heavy. That's true. But you'll break them and they're expensive. That is true. These are made for professional drinkers, 25 years of abuse. So, nice cube. The bada bing cherry. The orange peel is so-so. I'll give it a 2-2 two -two on appearance. 2-2. Two -two. Uh, I will say, we were in Colorado last week and they had these giant glasses. They were like 14 and a half ounces. Did you like it? Loved it, yep. and then I read the reviews, and every single person was like, "They break as soon as you put them in the dishwasher. They break, they break, they yep. break." So, that's why. That's why you're smart. You're working smarter, <laughs> not harder. You, you dig? Um, all right. So he given 2.2 off appearance. They got the single ice cube. You got the orange. You got the luxor sardi. Luxor, yeah. L <laughs> no, it's a bada bing. <laughs> it's a ba okay. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> cherry in this jaw. We got the cherry in here. Uh, the glass is a decent size. I'm not a fan of the shape. Yep. I know it sounds dumb as hell. But I get it. Uh, I'm going to go, nah, I mean, you got the single, you got everything in here. I'm going 2-5 off That's of appearance. Good. I'm going 2-5. Eh. Right. Again, you fix the glass, you got a three. What else you need in here? You know what I'm saying? Like, Do you like the it. round cube or the square cube if you have your choice? Uh, it depends. Like, so it depends on the size. <laughs> that sounds so suspect. <laughs> I like the round one. I'll try to figure the out. The round one, all right, let's just taste it. <laughs> I'll try to figure out how to say it without sounding like. So... Round or square, if it's giant and it fits in the glass, I'm with it. I All support right. it. So first sip, cheers, bro. 1 p.m. That was a big first sip. Ooh. That's Angel's Envy, which is not my brand of choice, but yeah. it's very good. It is smooth as hell. Ooh. 2-5. Two 2-5. Five. Two five. Right down the middle. That's a fair. That's a fair one. I'm going to go 2-6. Um, again, super smooth. It is. Um, clean no like burn none of that shit um so we're gonna go to overall now in between overall i'm starting to ask people some questions about business whatever it is right. the ashburn pub has been here for how long 25 years mark eckert the original owner planted his flag in ashburn when there was nothing else here farms it was first, first bar pretty much i think the hotel there was a ruby tuesdays in okay. sterling okay. there was stuff by the airport Packed since day one. I came here in 04, bought him out. We made the deal. He's doing great. And, uh, yeah, year 25. Damn. That's, so, so this is like, this is a historic establishment. I compared it to, to Jimmy's Old Town Tavern or the yeah, Vienna yeah, Inn yeah, or Spanky's, yeah. like that kind of vibes. Yeah. Anything else about the pub that is, I don't know, kind of unique, special? I mean, it is. Everybody knows their name. All walks of life people come in. And when a new person comes in, the regulars welcome them, which I think is cool. A lot yeah, of people yeah, walk yeah. in kind of timid, that's, like, yeah, what the fuck, I get beat up? No. <laughs> we just saw two old ladies come out, like 70 years old. They've been coming here every day for Burger Day for 25 years. That is a fact. The staff is unbelievable. Going yeah. through COVID, these guys have been an unbelievable team. We raise money for a lot of charities over the years. And Facts. just it's it's just a neighborhood joint. That's it. All right. Overall, I like the Angel's Envy. I'm going to eat the cherry. Cherry's right. wild. I don't know. Um, I'll go 2-5. Two 2-5, five. Two five, that's even? Yeah. Cherry's good, right? Uh, it was really good. I'm going to go 2-7 overall. Um, I don't know. I feel like it got better. I don't know if it's because... Hold up now. I don't know if it's because it's 1 p.m. and I just drank Old Fashioned <laughs> and I didn't eat yet. That I'm like, oh, this shit is bagging. Uh, who knows? So 2-7. I said 2. I think I said 2-6. I already did my math. Fuck. I, I got my math. What is this? I did... Uh, shit, 7-2. 
Okay, I don't know where I'm at. We'll figure You're it out. You're like a 7.5. All right, uh, and then overall ambiance again. The pub, the pub is the pub. It's a family atmosphere. They got a like virtual like jukebox in here. You can play music. I'm like stuck $700 lifetime on that jukebox. Yep. Um, Sonny! Great happy hour, great specials. Chris Sonhalter. People coming through all times of the day. Doesn't matter if it's noon, one, two. I was here yesterday at three. The place was jam packed. He puts in more hours than I do. Yeah. So you're late, actually. This isn't a five star dining restaurant that you're going to walk into with a red carpet. It's the Ashburn Pub. It's a pub. So if you're looking for a pub and a pub atmosphere, this is as pub ish as it gets. On top of that, the customer service is through the roof. Kev Kehoe won like best bartender of the year, and he literally is the most personable, friendly bartenders. Like, come to the pub and just watch Kev Kehoe. Every single person that walks to the door, hello, how you doing? Where yep. can I get you a seat? What, what, what are you having today? Like, he might not even be waiting on them, and it's just boom, boom, boom. It's every single day he's like that. So I'm going full one. I'm going to go, obviously, one on the ambiance, but I'm biased. But, yeah, like yeah, Kevin, sure. Brittany, Robin, yeah. Tor, um, JP, Maddie, yeah, my yeah. manager. Like, the, the whole staff has so much experience that I feel so comfortable when they're here. I never have yeah. to worry about anything. That's a fact. I did leave out literally the entire other half of the staff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll chop that part up. <laughs> the whole staff is amazing, not just Kev Kehoe. Again, Ashburn Pub, which is located in the Ashburn Village, which is one of my favorite places in Ashburn because they got all the lakes here. You can canoe, you can fish, do whatever you need to do. And drink Kev, old fashions. That's it. Kev Bednar's, follow him, follow Ashburn Pub. Virginia's Appreciate for grubbers. Bro.